Hi Taurus, happy birthday. I hope you have a beautiful month celebrating you and a beautiful day on the day you were born. So wanted to start off with that. And I have been shuffling off camera, but I'm gonna shuffle a few more times. This is your May general and love reading for 2017. Please remember if this does not resonate with you to watch your moon and or rising sign. Okay. to go back to that that kind of hopped on me so I'm gonna just start with this Ooh. okay the three of swords the king of cups the nine of swords the wheel of fortune And the three of wands. Wow. And we have two threes here. So our major arcana is the wheel of fortune. So let me adjust the tripod so you can see this closer. And, uh, and then we'll get started. Okay. Thank you. All right, Taurus. Well, I was kind of sad to see this card come out. But I'm glad that it's here rather than in this position because I feel like with loss comes some gain and it's important that you see that. Um, now, I want to point out, obviously, we have the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And for me, the this could also be a queen. So... Oh, I just saw an orb go by. But this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio may have some meaning. Scorpio is also in the Wheel of Fortune. You are also in the Wheel of Fortune along with Aquarius and Leo. So those signs uh, may have some significance for you. I'm getting something about ships. Now, I think I picked that up. Possibly for Leo. I, I don't remember because that was about four videos ago, but I think it wa possibly was. There's about ship, like my when is my ship arriving? Or possibly it could even mean ship mint. But I am also getting like a cruise. I feel like somebody is either... They could be the captain of the boat and there's sorrow to see them leave. I also feel like this could be heartache from a separation is what I'm getting. It may also be separation because someone is having to travel. I feel like, you know, they're traveling a great distance. It could be the other side of the world. But I feel like it's by boat. And I think that, you know, if you are, whether you're the captain or whether this could even be something with the military and the Navy, um, I feel that check your equipment, check the weather, be on top of the weather. Because for me, I feel like there, there could be some storms. There's something about storms where, you know, it's up and then it's down again. I'm glad to see that the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright position. And I feel like there's some clouds or something uh, that is moving in and may overtake you if you allow it to. Don't allow to your thinking to get clouded, Okay. Especially if you're manning something or if you're uh, in, I feel like in charge of a project or as I said, you know, uh, the boat or manning the ship or something. I feel like it's important to not get too overwhelmed with your fears or your thoughts. So let me get back to this Three of Swords, because I do feel that this may be a loss of some kind. I also feel... 
that this could be that there is somebody that is having either like triple bypass, there may be uh, some adjustments, adjustments made in uh, or needing to be made regarding blood pressure. There may be some kind of, uh, you know, atrial fib, atrial flutter that needs to be looked at. And I feel like somebody may be going under the knife to get a, uh, oh, they called it a, like a, they abra an abrasion or, or um, that's not the right word I'm hearing, a blaze. Oh, gosh. But they're, they they go in there and they do something to to control the atrial fib or the atrial flutter. I'm also hearing that there may be a stint that is being put in, and but you know for some of you this has already happened is what I'm hearing. I'm filming this like April 24th, so by the time I release the video. Uh, because I like to release them all at once. I know people get flustered when I, you know, do like two or three at a time. So, um, but I, I do feel that there may be something regarding a situation with the heart or with blood or clotting or something like that. So if you are traveling, make sure that you get up and move around, especially if it's air travel. You know how they say, don't sit in one position uh, for too long. Get up, walk the aisles or do, you know, some leg um, movements. Just ask your doctor about that. That's a message that I'm getting. There is a situation regarding work where somebody uh, may have either lost a partner. So maybe there were three partners and um, something is lost. It's, it's reduced down to two. I'm focused on, you know, what there's one thing in each hand. But I think that by the end of May, even though there may be a lot of stress or a lot of concern or anxiety and worry that's keeping you up because there's something about the books. I feel like maybe somebody possibly may be let go because I'm hearing they cooked the books and this may be affecting you. And I don't feel like this is you that did it. Somebody else that did it to you or... They may have done something with, I, I feel like, adjusting something on paper. And so they may be out of the picture, uh, but I do feel that somebody new is coming in by the end of May or that this person will be replaced is what I'm getting. I do have to say that there is possibly a situation where somebody is either concerned about a loved one, again, uh, going away. They're concerned about their safety. Uh, but I also would not be surprised if somebody has passed from one of the things that I have mentioned and you may be seeing them, or they may be coming to you in your dreams is another message that I am getting. I've been picking this up quite a bit. I also feel like there's been a loss, possibly, or somebody had made a promise to somebody uh, that they wouldn't do something anymore. So I feel like this is in a marriage and this is in a relationship. And it, well, it could be work related. I kind of covered that about somebody maybe taking money. If they're taking money, I feel like, and this is coming up for a lot of signs, I feel like this is um, because they have an addiction. I, I'm picking up with you that this could be gambling and this could be alcohol related. And I feel that somebody is possibly dealing with somebody where they broke a promise to them. And they're heartbroken. They said they wouldn't do it anymore and they've done it. And so I feel that this could definitely be you feeling overwhelmed 
This could also be them feeling very guilty for what they've done. And you are going to be deciding. I feel like this is them and now this is you. Where you're deciding what the future is going to look like. Whether or not you're going to allow them back in your life. I just saw something fly right this way. But whether or not you allow them to come back in your life. This may be very much, as I stated, a life lesson, a karmic lesson. I also feel that there's resolution from the past, especially next to this nine, that may be holding you back somehow. That maybe you both thought your ship was coming in and it was the wrong ship. It's the wrong person. And... There's a need to, to let this go, let the past go, let this love go in, so that you can move forward and then find, because I'm focused on the ships here, find the right person, allow the person to begin. So I also hear that this is like a growing pain or growing lesson, that you will grow from it as long as you don't get stuck here. You know, life has its ups and downs. We all are very much aware of that and have experienced that. And that's kind of what I get with you, that there's a situation where, you know, maybe there's up times and then there's down times and then there's up times and there's down times. So this could be fluctuations with money in business, but I also feel that this is very much in love. There may have been a third person, I can't ignore that, in, involved in this love situation. There may be a, a person that in May, you may meet somebody new, even while traveling. I feel like there is a decision in love that is important for you to make. And I think that it's, it's kind of like, it's heartbreaking what has happened that there's, you know, there's some, obviously some sorrow or feeling, you know, rejected. This may even be a part of you where you're giving, giving, giving in, when it comes to love and you're just not, this is what you're getting in return. This is what keeps happening to you. Like, and with the wheel over and over and over again, especially next to a card like this. But what I'm being led to say is I feel like there is hope. There's something coming in. And, and to look towards the future. Don't focus so much on the past, except if you need to release yourself from the past. But I feel that things will start improving. I'm also getting, I feel like somebody wrote like a, this could even be uh, somebody is working on, well, they wrote like, this could be a blog this may even be like travel, like uh, setting up. It could be a website where somebody is really trying to launch something. But I'm getting like a, a romance novel or somebody's been working on something and they're trying to see it to come to fruition. And so I feel like maybe there was some kind of rejection and, you know, it's been up and down, up and down, up and down, or there's been rewrite after rewrite after rewrite, you know, um, because I'm getting something about writing and book publishing, maybe even screenwriting. I'm being led to say, don't give up on that. Uh, I'm seeing the five of cups with these two threes. Look at the cups or not the cups that have fallen. But the what is in your hand, those other two cups that are left over. 
I'm picking up like a film or a movie or getting the part. Maybe you didn't get the part that you wanted or maybe the director. You couldn't get the director for the film that you wanted. I'm being led to say to move forward and still continue doing your writing or uh, screenwriting or producing or acting. Don't give up on that. The more you can look ahead, I feel like the better off you're going to be. There's some decisions that are going to be made that either you're making or somebody else I feel may be making for you. The more you can prepare and start focusing, like don't sit in despair and wait for an answer. Just keep moving. Keep looking forward is what I'm hearing. Okay, and I do feel that it is important to release yourself from, there was a movie called, was it uh, something in release? I don't know. I'm getting a movie. Quick step and, no, that's not it. It's quick and release or, I, I don't know. That has some meaning for somebody. But I, I feel like you will get through this. That's the most important thing. There's going to be ebbs and flows, ups and downs. But this is here, I feel, to make you stronger. Okay? So remember, if this message or these messages don't resonate with you, watch your moon and or rising sign. Of course, if you would like a reading with me, I do offer the private video readings where you can ask anywhere from one to four questions. And if my schedule is not open, uh, you can always email me at moonwatertarot@gmail.com, and I can see if I can squeeze you in somewhere for a, a, a phone reading or Skype reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful month. And take care and happy birthday once again. Bye.